today I'm going to teach you how to make a candy bow with a barrette attached to it. The materials that you're going to need are 7 beads of one color and 20 beads of another color or if you wanted to make it one solid color you just need 27 beads. A hair clip and some string. I would recommend using elastic string, anything that's stretchy. This is 0.5 I believe and um, another tutorial that I've done with this, same exact one, I'm redoing it, I used uh, fishing line, which is a little bit harder to work with. I think it was 30 pound test fishing line. It just keeps it really stiff so it doesn't bend and stretch like this does. But for um, right now I'm going to use the elastic because I don't have any more of that fishing line currently. So uh, let's get started. You're going to take your string. And uh, mine's probably about a little bit more than arm's length, not maybe an arm and a half. About um, you might not use all of this string, and if you're using cloth string like this, sometimes they get a little fuzzy, so you might need to trim off the edges of them to keep them from fraying a lot. And the first that you're going to put on are two of your outside beads, so two of the ones that you have more of and you string two of those down and they go to the bottom. You're going to add one of the inside beads and you're going to have to put two strings together and then add your string, I mean your bead, onto the string like so. So you're going to have the two beads and then the one. And now we're going to add a colored bead, the one of the inside beads and one of the outside beads. The outside bead needs to go on the one on the bottom. So you take your bottom string, you take your outside bead, and you add it there. And you take your inside bead and put it on the top one. So it ends up looking this. Next we're going to put one of the outside beads on together. And again this is just going to do the same pattern of two beads, one bead, two beads, one bead. And uh, that is just um, what we call a skeleton and that's the basis of a lot of the peyote stitch things. Um, like if you're going to do a candy bikini or things like that, that is uh, also done in the same kind of skeleton to begin it. And the next color that we're going to have to use is an inside and an outside. So you put your inside on top and your outside on the bottom. Um, if they accidentally get switched around it's not a problem. Just uh, flip the beads over, just like flip your strings or whatever. It's not really going to matter much in the end because we're just going to add beads on top of it and it'll pull it together tight so you don't have to really worry about it too much but it's better to put them in the same order so you know how it goes in the end. Um, okay so we're gonna put an outside bead on now. So you put both strings through there and now if you look at it we've got the outside here and then we did an inside, inside outside, outside, inside outside, and outside. Now we're going to reverse this pattern because this is the middle. Since we've already done our inside then we're going to do, I mean our outside, we're going to do an inside and an outside. Um, so you're putting your inside bead and then your outside bead. This is what you should have so far, like this. And then our next bead is going to be inside bead. And then after this we're going to add two outside beads. And then we're going to tie a knot. And we're going to tie a knot because we finished our skeleton and it's going to hold everything together. 
And we're just doing a typical square knot, so it's nothing uh, fancy. So, just like you would tie your shoe. You're going to take it, go under, and then just tie it tight. And we're going to go under again. And you tie it tight. If you want to do two or three more ties, that's fine, doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. I'm just going to do it three times. And again, like I told you earlier, how it'll flip around sometimes. This is what happened with this one. You can see because this is supposed to be on the top. If you just flip it over, it'll be okay. Just like that. And now we're going to take our string, just um, one of them, it doesn't matter which one you want to use, and you're going to string it through the outside bead on the side so that we can continue and do another row up. So you're going to take your inside bead and string it on. And now we're stringing through the other inside bead right next to it. And so that's going to add it in between. So put your string through and pull. And now you've got another row started. And now we're going to put an outside bead on. And another outside bead. Oops. Just like that. And we're going to put on our final inside bead here. Actually, hold on, let me. Ah, oh, see, um, it flipped around again on me, so I've got to fix this. Again, if you run into this problem, just flip it over. It's not a big issue. Make sure that it is going into a colored bead on the end, like so. So when you put your color here, you have the three of them, and you've got five purple on the bottom. And you do your final inside bead like that. And now we're going to just go back this direction for our other. And we're only using outside beads now because it's the only thing we have left. And for this, you just add your string on, and then go through the top inside bead. Just pull it through. So you're going to have three beads on that end. And then go all the way till you reach the end of this row, and just add your outside beads all the way through. Okay, so once you've now reached the end of this row, you'll realize that you can't go and start a new row because you've just got this bead that is, like, hanging there. Um, and the only way that we can fix this is to uh, either take one of these strings and push it back through the bead, which I find is a little bit more complicated, or we could just tie a knot. So I'm going to tie a knot for the sake of keeping it simple. Um, just do regular square knot like we did before. You can tie it twice or three times, whatever you feel is comfortable for you. Okay. And now that we've got that, we're going to take our string and go back through it like we had originally when we started the new row after we had tied it. We're going to take your string and pull it through one side. Okay. 
and again, it really doesn't matter which end you use. So we're going to take our outside bead and string it through the other outside bead at the top. So we're going to get the point of our bows now. And now this is where it differs from what we've been doing before. Um, the only bead that needs to be added here now is up on this side to add the additional point. So we're going to have to string through every single one of these outside beads to get to this open spot. And so you take your string and if you bend it in half it's a little easier to get to the opening. You push the string through and you pull it through. And again, you push your string through and you pull. And all this does is it makes it look nice because it hides the string or you have to go back through it. And I just did two beads at once. You can do two beads at once if you feel comfortable with that or you can just do them one at a time. So now we're at this empty open space. And you put on the last bead on this row to pull it down. Now we need to get to the bottom of this. And the easiest way to get to the bottom is to just take your string and string it through the bead here. So like that. And we're going to just pull the string all the way down. We're going to add our other point. And do the same thing that we did before when we were stringing through all of the outside beads to get to the blank space. Okay, so now you just add your last bead here, onto here, and to get rid of this extra string and to make it look nice, I like to string back through the bottom here. So now all you're going to do is tie your knot together. and. This way also, you can hide the knot inside of one of the beads instead of having it be um, on the side or it sticking out where it kind of looks ugly. So again, we're just doing square knots. Don't tie it too tight or else they will crinkle up a little bit on the sides of the bows. So just be aware of that. just cut off your extra and um, don't throw it away or anything we're going to use this string to help us tie the hair bow onto it so you can flip it over or use the side whichever one that you prefer doesn't really matter and we're going to um, loop it around these beads to tie around two points on the hair clip we're going to tie around this side and then we're going to have to loop back through some beads and tie it on to this side. And for the bottom of the hair clip, I've re um, what works for me is to only tie it on one side. You can tie it on both sides if you like. I just prefer to tie it on one side here. So we're going to tie it three times for mine. You can tie it four if you like. So I take the string and I put it through here and here. So you've got the two ends coming out here, so when you tie it, it's sturdy. So one end, take the other end, put it through. So you've got the two ends coming out of the hair clip. And the reason I don't tie it around the middle here is because if you pull on the hair clip, it will slide right off. So I tie it around the edges. 
So I'm going to tie it around the left side first. Did you just do a couple square knots? And after you've done that, what I like to do is to take, to flip it over, take one end of the string, uh, if you have a longer end, use the longer end, it doesn't really matter, and I stick it through the hole here, and pull it through, so now when we flip it over, back over the way it was, we can tie around this side of the hair clip and it be tied down right. Again, it doesn't really matter how you tie it down as long as it gets tied down. This is how I like to do it. If you can find a way that's more comfortable for you, go ahead and tie it that way. the ends off. And then we've just got one more point we have to tie. And we're going to do it the same way that we did the original one, where we've got our string that goes through the two points. And you get both ends that come out the sides. Oops. There, you go. there it is. And then I just put one string through the middle, and then do your square knot, and then you're done after that. And now you have made your very own candy hair bow that's got a clip attached to it. Hope that this tutorial was helpful. I will post a link down in the bottom to the picture tutorial. If you guys need a little bit more clarification on what I did or don't understand something, feel free to leave me a comment and ask any questions. And I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye!